Hello and welcome to Rome Total War, Skippy Campaign, doing the No Post Marin Unit Recruitment Challenge. And today we're going to continue the Civil War that we started in our last episode. And we did a pretty good job of taking on the Brutii. We've got the southern part of Italy all under our control. And we still need to go after, we need to shift our focus onto the Julii. Because we really didn't do much against them. We took Massilia over here, which kind of puts the, a chokehold on them, and they won't be able to get their armies back from Gaul. They'll have to go a different route. It puts them in like a kind of a choke point. We can move east and start uh, taking on these cities over here. And knowing that our western frontier is secure, we can just place a few units here on this bridge and then move out. We got also got Queso over here who has moved into Padovium or has moved into northern Italy. We're going to go ahead and uh, take some provinces up north. I think maybe Medio Lanium will be one of our priority targets. We do have a couple of plagues going on one in Masana, another one in Masana, and then also in Padovium. So the one in Masana was my own fault. I moved troops back into the city and it just, the old plague that happened got spawned again because there was units outside the city. I moved them in. I thought it was because of the same plague. It, they wouldn't get the same plague twice, but I, I guess the game didn't account for that. So lesson learned. Um, so this city is uh, going to really take a, another hit. I'm going to try to reduce that as much as possible by recruiting peasants and then we'll disband them after um, after the plague and then get them to repopulate the city. We also have the Brutii over here in Greece. Thurman still got a lot of troops left. Um, they hit us three times here on the mountain pass and Marcellus Victor uh, managed to stay out on top and he took some damage to his equites but he's still doing pretty tough uh we got a lot of assassins out here we don't have a lot of spies here to protect our generals so we might be in a little bit of trouble with that um it's one thing i didn't anticipate so i should go ahead and get a couple of spies trained up right now to protect us from these assassins there's a two star and a one star uh assassin so not a huge threat, but it's still a threat. They could they could get Marcellus Victor. He even has a body slave, which is reducing his personal security. So that's unfortunate. So we're sitting here with 43 regions controlled. We need six more and Rome to win the game. The Roman Senate has declared war against us. They've got a lot of generals over here and one stack out of the city and a half stack in the city so uh we don't have a lot of we've got a lot of uh triarii uh, but n not a lot not a very well balanced army over here in the capital i need to train some equities and uh try to build up my army in the capital a little bit better to uh well i could just bring some of these guys out i guess we can we need to mop up down here take care of all these little uh, broody eye leftover armies from our previous battles that managed to get away. We also have this army that is on this fleet. This is Valerius. He lost a war, uh, lost a battle, but I don't think he doesn't look like he got any negative traits for that. So that is good. Let's get him off the boat and. Um, we'll get Asinius, who still has that lily liver trait, but he got a confident attacker. We'll get him to move out and pretty much take everybody and head on over to maybe defend against any attacks done by the Senate. Uh, can't quite reach the capital just yet, but we can get him in there. 
Okay, I've got a little better army over here in the the capital in case they the Senate moves out. We can do a counterattack. We will move up and eventually go to our minimum, but for now I'm just gonna um I wanna get uh, Valerius over here in Tarentum and he can should be able to retrain up all of his wounded units over here and what should we get? I think this army needs a little more infantry. We'll get another Triarii. I'm gonna go ahead and merge up Marcel's Victor's units. He's gonna need a couple more cavalry. I I think yeah, we'll get him the uh, Equites. I tend to go through Equites pretty quickly because I use them a lot in my battle strategies. So they tend to take a lot of uh, a lot of hits, a lot of uh, casualties. Let's uh, I should be able to get some Principes in here. So let's go ahead and trade these wounded units off for principes then I can retrain well my hastadis at least and get that spy all right let's go ahead and start off by taking out Athens Attack! we got six ladders they've got a couple of principes and a ballista is nothing too concerning we should be able to take them out pretty easily although I don't want to deal with the principes on the walls themselves Alright, it looks like uh, none of their units are actually defending any of the walls, so we should be clear to go. I want to make sure I take a wall that is farther away from towers. Looks like the towers in this city are pretty evenly distributed, so that might be difficult. So we'll just go ahead and take all the walls. I know we're going to take some casualties due to the towers, but... Um, I don't think it can be helped. Yeah, and here we go. We're already taking hits from their tower. I think I'm going to stop all these other guys. Uh, might as well keep these guys going. They've already been hit. That was a big mistake. Let's go ahead and start taking the towers. All right, I've got the units in the square. I didn't mean to attack. They just came at me. I mean, my guys are running. They're not following my orders at all. I I told them to just form up a line straight up here, and then for some reason they just run straight into the square. It's uh, kind of annoying. Um, we might have to fight this before I'm quite ready. If these guys continue to not follow my orders we're already getting Pila okay well I guess they're just not gonna follow my orders so everyone just charge out I guess that's awful Let's see if I can get some cavalry to flank Yeah, we're already routing because they just... Ugh, so frustrating. That they didn't obey my orders. I wanted to head, surround the square and then send them in, but they just ran out there for some reason. Okay, enemy general's dead. The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Got a couple of units routed already. Both of my principes. I'm taking way more casualties than I should be. All oh, Rome will be amazed at such a victory. The day is ours! Yeah, just terrible. 330 losses. It's awful. Alright, because of that terrible battle, I'm going to exterminate the population. Because my <laughs> units didn't follow their orders, I'm exterminating the population. But now I have money. I can build whatever I want. You know what? It's probably kind of dumb to um, do that because the city uh, is not going to make as much money as it would have had I not done that. And also didn't really need my troops here. And I can rebuild those troops. Uh, oh well. 
I have money now and I can build everything. So it's actually probably a pretty good thing to do. Let's go ahead and get more. Actually need, let's get some Triarii here. Um, man, three assassins right here. Actually, let's get another spy. That's insane. I am actually worried about Marcellus Victor. He's been my best general for the whole game. I would hate to lose him. Uh, oh, and he's my faction leader, too. Wow. I'd hate to lose him to an assassin right at the end because I didn't get any spies quick enough. You know, I don't think assassins can uh, travel through armies. So if I actually send up an army, which I need to do anyways, there's no reason for this army to sit in Sparta. Yeah, so if I move an army here, and let's split up this army. Move an army up here. The assassins won't be able to get to Marcellus Victor. And he'll be safe. I think. I'm in a, in a way blocking out all the assassins. So looking at these uh, two cities over here, Croton and um, Tarentum, they don't have any sewers, so I'm going to just go ahead and get that. They're, they're really cheap, and uh, it'll add some healthiness to the cities. So I'll go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, I do need to take care of these fleets too, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Should be enough to sink him, yes. And I believe there was more fleets. Yeah, more Julii fleets. Let's go ahead and get this one. Oh, how did we lose that? He had like... We had 111 men. They had... Plus a better ship. Wow. That was unexpected. Okay, there we go. But now we can't do the counterattack. And sink him. But we do have this fleet here. Yes. Oh, we won't be able to reach him in time. Um, can I get this ship over here? No. Can't reach. Let's go hit this guy. We'll just have to get this ship uh, next turn. Attack. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just attack this army over here. I'm sure they'll retreat. Oh. No. Um, that's surprising. I guess they have a little bit more men than I thought. Yeah. I'm thinking I want to um, do it with this army instead. So let's get uh, Nias over here. Nias the Brave. And have him fight... Oh, now they're fleeing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that with this army a little bit better. Uh, only two archers, though, so to come up with a different strategy than normal. They, wow, they've got a lot of uh, siege engines. We weren't able to destroy them. All right, let's go ahead and fight this. All right, looks like their reinforcements are here immediately. Let's get... I don't know if I'll be able to strike them immediately but uh, I got my equities over here we might be able to just take out their uh, siege equipment while they're trying to meet up with this other army so let's get my cavalry over here double time and see if we can take out this their uh, onagers and ballista see what this army does if they come after me or move to join up with the reinforcements Let's back off so that I don't alarm them too much. Okay, yeah. Don't know what those guys are doing, but I can take them out too. Okay, no, they're moving out. Let's uh, hurry up and take these guys out before they do too much damage. Yeah, we already got hit. I think we lost an Equites, so we got hit by an Onager. Okay, those are all misses. Go ahead and uh, maybe take care of these guys first. Uh, 
Okay, let's get back. Let's fall back. I think we did enough damage. Get back. Here comes uh, Arcani. Triaria. Look at those ninjas. Let's kill them. <laughs> They're tough. They're tough ninjas. Let's have my infantry double time. Let's have my archers start firing. Let's have our uh, cavalry back off. I we weren't able to take out this one onagers who are firing, but they just hit their own guys. Let's uh, have our cavalry help out in the middle over here. All right, we're going after their general. Okay, we got one general routed. We just gotta get the rest of the guys. Uh, oh shoot, those onagers that are escaping. Now these guys are doing their circle thing. The gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of. We got infantry charging at cavalry auxilia. I think these guys are the only guys left that haven't really routed. Maybe we can surround these guys our equites and uh, trap them. Well, if they're doing the circle, they're, we should be able to catch them. Here we go. Alright, let's fight. get them. Pursue them Alright, well, we lost uh, quite a few guys. 300. Okay, we can't reach this army this turn. Um, what do they got? Okay. Mm, too much for just three equites, I think. Well, let's see what they've got. Yeah, it's a little bit much for just three equites. Uh, let's get some more help over here. Yeah, let's get these guys. And I can get Nias in there too. Delete it. And now. Ah. I'll have to wait another turn. Alright, I'm gonna have uh, Manius over here go ahead and take on Marcus. And, uh, yeah, they've got slightly better army than us as far as uh, pure power, but they don't have a very well balanced army. Uh, only one cavalry besides their general. The rest is all infantry, no archers. So I think we should be able to handle them. We've got three to four. Let's go. So they've got quite the height advantage over here. They've got this massive hill that we're going to have to climb. Uh, I'm taking this angle over here where it's slightly less steep. And I'm going to have my cavalry... Um, over here on the right flank we're gonna move out as fast as we can we're gonna have them run and then we're gonna angle up our infantry like this and then have our archers kind of like this yeah and I think we're all we're not gonna double time my infantry but I'm having my cavalry double time try to catch them off guard force them to adjust their formation and that's the goal I may be able to catch their general if he runs out too far ahead. In fact, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for his general right now.
All right, looks like we're, let's have my general back up. Oh, he's right in the thick of it. My general's in the thick of it. Okay, we got their general surrounded. We got him. Now we got to get our guys back as quickly as possible. Let's uh, let's have it back up like this. And we're already being engaged with our infantry. Let's see if we can straighten this up a little bit. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Let's attack. And I really got to get my general back and protect this left flank because here they come. We're routing. Go, guys. Why is my cavalry not coming back? Uh, I don't like all this routing. Come on, general. Rally the troops. Okay, looks like we are routed on our left flank. But we're routing them over here. Come on guys, go. Get a formation going. Alright, now they're routing, good. I think I got things under control. All right, let's get our cavalry going. They're in a full on retreat. I think I got them. All right, make sure we take out their ballistas. All right, we got him. Wow, we did it. Man, that was a close battle. Uh, even though we got a heroic victory, that could have turned the other way really quickly when we started to have our left flank route. But we managed to get our cavalry back in time and to route the enemy. And we got a heroic victory. Nice. They only have 192 guys remaining. That probably means the stack will be wiped. We got their general. So that was really good. Nice. Move depleted, sir. And we got confident commander. Good. This guy, he's a. Uh, he's not a bad general. I mean, he didn't really have any command stars going into it, but he got one now. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna split up uh, Publius's forces over here. Get them on the bridge. That should hold back any attacks trying to come this way. And then I'm gonna get the rest of his troops. Um, we'll see. We'll get as many as we can to move out. Let's get. Let's see how the city's doing. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just get some. Uh, get some peasants to just uh, garrison the city, and we can slowly raise the taxes. But get Publius on the march too, and he can help out with the Julii invasion. All right, I want to hit Captain Flavius over here, but I don't want him to retreat into the city, so I need to take a equal-sized army to attack him with. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab um, three Equites, two Principes, a Stadi, and a couple of uh, archers. I think that's, don't think that's too big to scare him off. Let's give it a try. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully he doesn't retreat as soon as we get close, though. That's my uh, concern. But we are one-to-one, -one, so maybe he'll fight. At the very least, we can take out the uh, Ballista. Okay, I'm going to move my units closer to this rock over here. And use the rock to protect my right flank. And then um, use my 
cavalry to overwhelm their left flank. I'm gonna have these guys run into position. Be interesting to see how they respond. They'll probably adjust their formation. We got their equites over here. I'm gonna have my archers. No, I'm not gonna have them fire yet. Let's let them get in position first. Let's see if they charge me or not. That'll be interesting. Now they're just adjusting their position. And these guys are still not firing, so that's good. I'm gonna move my archers up so they get in range. But we have to get them out of hiding first. So I'm gonna send an equite forward. Get them out of hiding so our archers can start firing. Come on, I know they're here. There they are. Get back before you rout. We're still steady, good. We got our archers firing. Getting some good hits in. Alright, let's get our infantry forward. I still want to do more damage. They're not firing at us, so... We're doing really good damage with our missiles. Yeah, we've done 13% casualties already with our archers. We're taking out their equites. We can out their infantry really well. All right, let's have our cavalry back off. Don't know what their equites are doing. Just gonna keep keep them from engaging and continuing to do massive casualties with our archers. Good job, archers. And their archers haven't even fired a volley at us yet. I think it's time to move my uh, cavalry in. Okay, let's go. And I'm gonna wipe out their cavalry first. Let's go. Make sure our general's okay. All right. Back up, we got him routed. That's all we wanted to do. Let's get our infantry to move forward. Their infantry's routing. And now we gotta get their general before they retreat. Yeah, he's gonna get away. But we will be able to get their uh, ballistas. Should have had my cavalry block off their escape. We got him. All right, pretty good victory. We took out 842, lost five, only 131 left. We'll see if they escape into the city. Nope, we got him. We routed that whole army. Cool. Let's uh, put this city under siege. Get our rams. Get this army to join them. All right, with that, I am going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, just as I was hoping, they attacked, attacked me on the bridge over here. Titus should be able to handle that, no problem. All right, here we go. We're going to take, take our positions. Let's get our archers a little bit closer here. Okay, we got archers approaching us. We're able to hit them before they get their first volley off, but they will get some rounds off against us, but we're doing a lot of damage to them. Here comes the first rank of Astatis. We should take them out. They should route before they get to us. 
We've got our hoplites leading the way in the center, but they're going after our Hastati. Let's uh, put all our infantry on guard mode. Okay, we routed the first rank. Doing a lot of damage here with our melee, I mean with our missiles. They've hardly even touched our, our infantry yet. Alright, we've got some more pilas to throw. I had about half of my infantry hold back, but I'm going to let the other half throw their pila now. We've killed 29%, lost to 0%. There has been some losses due to friendly fire and their missiles. I don't know if they've actually killed anybody in hand to hand yet. Doing more damage with our arrows. They're sending their cavalry forward. Alright, he's running. Not ready to send my cavalry out just yet. We're just doing way too much damage with our missiles. We have lost 1%, so doing some damage to us or we're doing some friendly fire all right I think they are retreating let's go send out our cavalry uh, I don't know if, yeah no just the cavalry let's uh, not send our general to lead it though let's have him wait a little bit now go come on cavalry So we've killed 71 percent. A really large army. It's gonna take us a while to cross the bridge, so they might get away. All right, we're getting the first stragglers. They got a long ways to run, so we might be able to catch some of them. I don't know why my general is leading this. Alright, well, I killed 2100, 20, only lost 25 guys. Nice victory. Alright, well, we got the Marian reforms. So that means no more recruitment. Alright, we are done recruiting. We, I mean, we can recruit peasants, that's it. But I think, uh,. I think we've got this. This is um, not going to hurt us too much. All right, what do we got? Uh, another drill master. I don't like having that negative two morale. I wonder if this is a trait that will get better over time, or if that morale. It does improve law, so I might just take him because we're not going to get too many chances. And he's got everything else is good. We'll see if that we, that drill master goes away over time or. I don't know. All right, let's take a look at our recruitment. Uh, well, we got a bunch of spies. We trained up a bunch of guys. So we didn't get any new units, so that's good. We don't have to disband anybody. Well, we lost a diplomat. We don't really need diplomats anymore. We're kind of done with diplomacy. All right, well, uh, still got a lot of play going on. Masana and Padavium. And yeah, we're losing money. Even with the uh, exterminating Athens, we still are in the negative profits. 
we uh, spent, I spent as much money as I could. I was able to build a lot more than I usually do with that, uh, the sacking of Athens. Okay, so if you look at our recruitment, we got the new units over here, which we won't, which I will not recruit. And my Roman enemies now, the other Roman families, will be able to recruit them. So the Brutii are almost destroyed. We just got a couple cities left. We've got, oh, I should have done this battle last turn because I was hoping he would attack me, but now I'm going to have to attack him and he's got, he got more reinforcements. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and take out these, uh, the final Julii Navy. Alright, I don't think there's any other enemy navies anywhere. So, I could, uh, reduce my navy a little bit because they, yeah, there's really no enemy navies anywhere. So here we got a Julii family member. Ooh, I almost lost my spy. I didn't even look at it. It was just 93%. Oh well. I mean, we've got an additional trait there. He's got up to three eyes now. And another spy over here. Let's take a look at this guy. So the, yeah, the Julii look like they're about to send guys down. Might be going after Massilia or might be going after Asuka. Not sure yet. So our new family member, we just got the drill master over here. He has, uh, he doesn't, he was spawned in Padavia, but because all the troops are in here, I don't know if he's going to have the plague, um, uh, or not. If he's going to carry the plague around with him. But I actually want to take care of these reinforcements if I can. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm going to have him march out, and I'm going to hire just mercenaries and see if I can take out these two reinforcements armies with uh, Servius over here Prepare for battle. okay they've retreated Victory! and then they're still in range to do reinforcements let's go ahead and fight this army Engage the enemy. okay they are not going to be reinforcements. Victory! Just have the Prince of Base. Nice. So he was able to General. take care of the reinforcements for us. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take Medial Lenanum. We got enemy. open gates. We got four rams, which we don't need because the gates are open. And all they got inside is a couple of uh, units. They just got Hastadis and Onagers. I'm actually going to let the AI control this time. Although he has the morale penalty, he might just route. Alright, so I'm going to get a couple of equites up here to... Actually, I'm going to just send all my equites to just deal with those uh, Hastadis. Because uh, they should be coming from the north, so... Um, I'll just wipe them out when they come in. And make sure... I'm going to have to rush rush all my infantry in right away all right let's go ahead and start this battle all right let's go ahead and take out these guys i just sent all my other guys in to charge the center and we do have these onagers let's get these guys to charge first Ooh, they almost hit us looks like our allies took the walls first I don't know what's going on with the sound right now. Alright, let's go ahead and charge this guy. They should route almost instantly. And let's just get my cavalry. Alright. We're fighting those onagers right now. Alright, we're taking the gates. We did take some uh, damage from the walls, from the towers. You guys are just sitting here waiting. Alright, we got one cavalry in. Let's see if we can get them to back off. Get this guy to go this way. 
but no. Only one choice, just to charge. They're only his thotties, so let's go. My irreplaceable guys are just gonna take needless casualties because the pathfinding is so bad. Lost a little over 50, but not too bad. And we're gonna go ahead and um, just occupy it. Well, with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.